Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. For those of you who have come to my channel today looking for some rib, brisket, chicken or pork type of barbecue, you came to the wrong episode. This one is my barbecue durian episode 2 where I do a throwdown between the two durians I like. This is called the Montong. Yes, it sounds like a Godzilla movie against the Musang King. Some folks who are barbecue and durian aficionados feel that this is some of the two best durians out from Asia that are available in America. In this episode, I'm going to do a throwdown, argue both of them, give them a taste test and let you know which one I like better. to split along the edge here right here is where it splits right here where it splits right there and uh, it should split right about there right here so split there it should split right here in the point and split right here in the point we'll let it go for a few hours After about two and a half hours roasting in the pit, you can see that the durians have nicely split right in a little star shaped pattern here at the base where the seams are at. Same with this one here. So let's go ahead and take them apart. Give a taste test of the uh, Musang King against the Montong throwdown. taste test here so here's the final result it took about two and a half hours to roast the durians until they split open along the base along the seams and before i start tasting i just want to acknowledge that these two durians were provided to me by my neighbors ted and riley and family they were kind enough to share a couple of durians with me because they know i love durians and we also had a little rib cook off where i showed them how to cook ribs so they were super nice people and we're gonna give a taste test the bean smells durian so he's uh, gonna get his fair share in a little bit so let me start off by trying this one called the Musang King which is actually a durian that's extremely popular it comes from Malaysia and uh, it's from the state of Pahang where this is grown so I'm gonna take a bite it is really highly sought after in Asia and I'm just happy to hear that it's now available in Los Angeles take a bite from the first one which is the Musang King the Malaysian style durian Great balance in the odor and flavor. It's got a hint of uh, bitterness to it. The meat is very sweet, custardy, and creamy. For the uninitiated of people who've never tried durian, some people liken it to kind of like stinky cheese or something along the lines of the very familiar taste of like a jackfruit mixed with vanilla, uh, mixed with custard. And it, it's just a very strong smell and taste. If you're used to it, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. If you're not used to this, this sometimes is characterized as uh, something putrid uh, that smells of stinky cheese. But I grew up eating it, so I'm really used to it, So and I love it. This one has the bitterness. We call it, uh, in, in the Malaysian term, it's called koliam. means that it is slightly bitter and sweet, has a great creamy texture and consistency. I'll take another bite now. Really connoisseur style durian because of the afternote of the bitterness towards the end so it's almost like tasting some fine cheese having a glass of fine wine or having a piece of beautifully fermented kimchi it has that kind of that the sulfurous compound that uh, is very very strong so this is not for the uninitiated if you've never tried it but i love it it's absolutely amazing so this is the malaysian version and i'm gonna try it out the thai uh, the Montong is also known as the golden pillar pillow and you can see it's like a ginormous pillow and uh, that's a lot of yield from one durian compared to two 
uh, this is probably twice as much as this even though we started off with a smaller Musang King durian so this is the Montong sounds like Godzilla movie Montong stands for golden pillows in Thai so this is Thai durian versus the Malaysian durian I'm gonna taste a bite of this now a completely different initial taste much much more mild very creamy creaminess I think is on par the durian flavor is kind of muted so if this was on the durian strength flavor scale of the kind of the sulfurous kind of putrid compounds if this ranks a 7 this would rank a 10 okay the sweetness of this one is less than that of the Malaysian durian so in this very limited two durian sample one from each country uh, my conclusion is drum roll this one tastes better so in my very limited unscientific mathematically insignificant test completely anecdotal the Malaysian durian ages out the Thai durian in terms of the depth of flavor and strength of the durian odor and taste also the complexity of the Malaysian durian is actually better on the Musang King it's got many layers of flavor on top of the stinkiness of the sulfur and the creaminess of the custard kind of consistency it also has a slight tiny tinge of a bitter note which if you are a durian connoisseur it is really highly uh, desirable uh, this one is also pretty good uh, but very mild version of this but i think that the uh, musang king is king today so we have another bite to verify my findings musang king hands down uh, not even a close comparison this is much much better um, so enough about me eating and talking now is mr bean's turn mr bean you ready for try a durian he's wagging his tail let me get him a sample from either camp and let him decide which country or which version of durian tastes better according to mr beans here's the sample from mr beans this is the uh, one from thailand the montrong and this one is the one from malaysia called the musang king are you ready to try mr beans so beans we don't have brisket for you today but we have something pretty unusual which is spiky fruit that even uh, andrew zimmer cannot eat but we know that you like it so we'll let you try okay you love it don't you it's absolutely pungent and delicious like an almond textured blue cheese with a fruity sweet flavor Thanks for stopping by, watching my durian episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, eating it, tasting it, cooking it, feeding it to beans. I want to do a shout out for all my Patreons. Thanks for helping me keep the lights on and supporting my channel. And uh, until the next video, we will see ya.